Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. I expect to see some intense trench warfare in Battlefield 1's final DLC, Apocalypse, but I also expect to see some new vehicles in combat. There are a few remaining vehicles that could be added to the game, either as behemoths or your run-of-the-mill armored vehicles. Here is my short list, along with the reasons I think they'd fit well in Battlefield 1. If your favorite vehicle isn't in my top 10, I tried to pick those I think would offer new experiences to Battlefield players. First, we'll start with the more standard vehicles. For armored cars, I think the Italian Lancia Ansaldo 1Z is a great option if DICE is looking to add more variety to available armored cars. The design features a unique double turret, with one on top of the other. It wasn't the most practical design in reality, but for Battlefield 1, it would offer some unique gameplay. Both the driver and gunner would have a 360-degree traverse, making it effective against infantry in all directions. There are also a number of firing ports on the side for passengers, and the rails on the front of the vehicle were designed to cut through barbed wire. The Lancia Unsoldo 1Z could reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, or just under 40 miles per hour. I strongly suspect we'll see new Italian maps in the upcoming Apocalypse DLC, and the Lancia Ansaldo 1Z and the later model 1ZM with a single turret saw action during the Battle of Caporetto. American troops also trained with these vehicles. Now, we haven't seen the addition of a new light tank to any of the Battlefield 1 DLC to date, and there are a couple that could fill that role nicely. The British tank media Mark A, nicknamed the Whippet, could offer some variety to that class. Generally armed with four machine guns in all directions, the turretless Whippet was also one of the fastest tanks of World War I, boasting a blistering top speed of 14 kilometers per hour, or just over 8 miles per hour. A Whippet actually fought a mammoth German A7V in 1918 during the world's second tank battle. Unfortunately, that Whippet was destroyed in combat. If DICE wanted to add a variant with more than just machine guns, Red Russian forces equipped a captured Whippet with a 37mm main gun during the Civil War. Another prototype with an upgraded engine and suspension could allegedly reach speeds of 48 kilometers per hour, or about 30 miles per hour, so developers have a couple ways to make that vehicle stand out from the Renault FT. Another option for a new light tank could be the German Leichter Kampfwagen 2. This prototype design is similar to the aforementioned Whippet, and plans called for a 37mm gun and machine gun located in a fixed superstructure. It had a top speed of about 15 km per hour, or 9 miles per hour. It was incomplete by the end of the war. It actually wouldn't surprise me if DICE reached a bit further into the post-war period to bring an LK2-derived design into Battlefield 1. The Stridswagen M21 featured a 360-degree turret armed with a machine gun. Later variants also featured external lighting, which DICE has used on other vehicles like the Saint-Chamond tank and the Pudelov Garford as a spotting mechanic. Most importantly, the Stritzwagen was used by Sweden, and DICE would have easy access to examples for modeling purposes. If developers wanted to push the prototype envelope even further, DICE could add the Sturmpanzerwagen Oberschlesien prototype. This tank design reportedly featured a 37 or 57 mm gun located in a central turret and machine guns mounted at the front and the back. Though lightly armored, this tank would fit quite well into the tank meta of Battlefield 1, with a unique three-seat setup and a top speed of 16 km per hour, or about 10 miles per hour. The tank was still being built at the end of World War I. If DICE want to stick to tanks commonly deployed in World War I, the Schneider CA is a prime candidate. The tank featured a 75mm gun located on the right side of the tank and machine guns on either side. The placement of the main armament is unique to other tanks in Battlefield 1, and it would make the tank a unique challenge. The Schneider CA's top speed was only 8 km per hour, or 5 miles per hour. Interestingly, the tank made up part of the 1st Italian Tank Regiment until it was replaced by the Fiat 2000. 
Coincidentally, the Fiat 2000 is one of my choices for a new behemoth in Battlefield 1. The massive vehicle featured six machine guns and a 65mm cannon in a top-mounted turret. A true behemoth, the Fiat 2000 tipped the scales at 40 tons. Not surprisingly, its speed was limited to 7 km per hour or 4.3 miles per hour. Construction of the tank was completed just after the close of World War I, but it did see action in Libya. Another top choice for a Battlefield 1 behemoth is the German Großkampfwagen, or Kawagen. Weighing 120 tons, that's three times as much as the Fiat 2000, the Kawagen was to feature four 77mm fortress guns and seven machine guns. Designed as a true land ship, the Kawagen might actually be too overpowered to put in Battlefield 1, even as a behemoth. Surprisingly, Germany actually came close to completing the terrifying tank, with two of them nearly assembled at the armistice. DICE hasn't added a new behemoth since the Char 2C tank included with Battlefield 1's first DLC, They Shall Not Pass, so perhaps we will see one of these monsters in Apocalypse. For airplanes, I don't see DICE adding another massive bomber like the Ilya Morometz in the DLC, but there is space for some unique, smaller aircraft. Specifically, developers could add the Voisin biplane. It'd be the first pusher aircraft added to Battlefield 1, with the engine located behind the pilot and gunner. Capable of carrying smaller munitions, the bomber also featured a front gunner position, which could be equipped with a machine gun or a 37mm cannon for ground attack. The design has some inherent weaknesses, such as the lack of any rear defenses, but the flexibility of a 37mm gun makes it intriguing from a gameplay perspective. DICE could also add some of the first metal aircraft designs with Apocalypse. The Junkers CL-1 was a late-war ground-attack airplane with a mostly metal construction. It featured two forward-firing machine guns, a complement of ground munitions, and a rear gunner position. The CL-1 would also be Battlefield 1's first monoplane, offering improved visibility to pilots. Again, none of these vehicles are confirmed for Apocalypse. This is mere speculation. That being said, which of these would you like to see added to Battlefield 1? Are there some vehicles I didn't mention that you'd like to see? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. That goes a long way to helping out the channel. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.